happy morning dear students how are you all so are you ready for your social studies class but before it go grab your textbook because it's very important while keeping your textbook with you right and social studies you need the textbook varna aap notes kaise banaoge right so go come on run and grab your textbook we will start with our part 4 of lesson number 2 the northern mountains students our topic for today is life in the mountains now life in the mountains may if you remember we have taken mm, jammu and kashmir you remember humne padha tha uske bare mein then himachal pradesh and uttarakhand go through your textbook because it's very important right so today we will do let's recap what we will do today life in the mountains we are going to continue this topic we will see the remaining points first we will learn about sikkim next west bengal now north eastern states north eastern states mein kya kya aata hai arunachal pradesh मणिपुर मेघालय एंड नागालैंड सॉरी मिजोरम एंड नागालैंड ओके सो टुडे वी विल स्टडी ऑल अबाउट इट ओके आर यू रेडी सो ओपन योर टेक्स्ट बुक एंड गेट रेडी फॉर द क्लास लेट्स बिगिन Belong to three tribes: Lepcha, Bhutia, and Nepal. West Bengal. The northern part of West Bengal is famous for tea gardens. Darjeeling is the northernmost district and is situated in the foothills of the Himalayas. It is famous for its beautiful hill stations and Darjeeling green tea. No. is your textbook with you so um tell me which three uh, tribes of people are uh, seen in sikkim there are one two three tribes you have to study that students in addition to it it's also written there that the men and women they wear colorful clothes okay and they wear gold and uh, some beadings type of ornaments okay jaise hum ornaments pehnte hain like that only the people of there wear a uh, very attractive ornaments okay in addition to it the rivers there are very beautiful fine and what was the next it was west bengal i hope you know the place darjeeling it's very beautiful you must go there sometimes so let us continue with the further topic northeastern states the northeastern states of india are beautiful in their own way arunachal pradesh is the largest state in this region itanagar is the capital city the population of the state is less and people live in houses on stilts to protect themselves from rain and snakes students arunachal pradesh mein what type of houses people live in the house type is stilt okay ab stilt houses kaise hote hain we will see that see this is the wooden flooring okay and this is the wooden flooring fine and what they do वो उसके नीचे ऐसे वुडन बार्स लगा देते हैं ओके बड़े बड़े बार्स लगा देते हैं एंड देन दे कंस्ट्रक्ट देयर हाउसेस ऑन इट ओके ये जो एरिया होता है जो वुडन फ्लोरिंग मैं आपको बता रही हूँ उसके नीचे जैसा कि हमने देखा कि वुडन बार्स लगाए जाते हैं सो दैट वहाँ पे जो स्नैक्स हैं या फिर वहाँ पर जो फ्लड्स आते हैं उस चीज़ से जो वहाँ के लोग हैं वो प्रोटेक्टेड रहे ओके सो so, जो उनका घर होता है वो थोड़ा हाइट पे बनाया जाता है एंड सच हाउसेज आर नोन एज स्टिल्ड हाउसेस क्लियर लेट्स मूव ऑन 
Manipur is famous for the Manipur Gardens. Its capital is Impal. Primary occupation is farming and weaving. Different types of things from bamboo, cane, and leather are made here. Meghalaya is well known for receiving the heaviest rainfall in India. Shillong is its capital and a famous hill station. Garo, Kasi, and Jayantia are the main tribes of this region. They are mainly farmers who grow rice, jute, potatoes, sugarcane, pineapples, and oranges. So tell me, what, what is the primary occupation of the people living in Manipur? Yes, it's farming. Next question and I won't answer it, okay? Meghalaya me, which crops are grown? Tell me, it's there in your textbook. Take it, okay? Let's move on. Mizoram is a small northeastern state with Aizol as its capital. Its people are called Mizos. The famous bamboo dance is from this state. Nagaland also has a number of tribes. People of different tribes wear shawls with different patterns. The designs on the shawls help to identify the tribes to which they belong. The capital of the state is Kohima. Most of the people are farmers and they grow rice, maize, millets and oranges. Dear students, question time. So tell me, Mizoram ke jo log hote hain, unhi kaun se naam se bulaya jata hai? Yes, Mizos. Next question, Nagaland ka capital kya hai? What is the capital of Nagaland? Take it in your textbook. I hope you are clear with all the topics. Let's see what we have to do. Next, okay? Let's move on. Dear students, here we complete our lesson number 2, the Northern Mountains. Now what you have to do? Read the points to remember of the chapter. See, over here you have the points to remember. You have to go through these points. Fine? Always keep your textbook with you. Let's see what we have next. Write the points to remember in your notebook. You have to write it as well. Let's see what's next. Let's get started. Page number 17 of your textbook. Test yourself. Dear students, you have some question in your textbook. So you have to answer them as your worksheet. In which country is Mount Everest situated? You know? Okay, you have to answer it. Next, Uttarakhand lies in dash ranges. Read the textbook. All the answers are here itself. Next, MCQs. Which is the largest mountain range in the world? You know? Let's see the options. Answer them. Next. Which of the following is the capital of Sikkim? The options are here for you. Next, what do the foothills of the Shivalik form? Himalayas, Terai region, snake forest, co uh, crocodile marshlands. You have to answer all this. Dear students, here we end with our class. I hope you all are clear with this lesson. I will see you next time with our new lesson. Till then, take care. Keep making notes. God bless you.